Hello guys, my name is Andres Espinosa and I belong to WDI 12 from General Assembly BC. In this video, I'm going to show you the product of my first full stack app build. So tell me, what is the only best app than Instagram? Hell yeah, Instadrone! <laughs> Pretty self-explanatory, right? It's basically Instagram, but with drone pics. So let's get right to it. Uh, let me show you how to navigate yourselves around the app and then I'll show you some functionality. Um, so basically this is the app. Uh, this is the user interface. Uh, here you can see I'm signed in as drones at cool.com. Why not, right? Um, you can see these are the posts. Uh, it consists on a picture. Here you can see who posted the picture. And down here you can see a small caption added to the picture through a form. Uh, so we can scroll down, we can see, here's more drone, cool drone pictures. Um, more pictures, more pictures, more pictures. Here you can see we have a different user um, posting this picture. So I'll show you into that a little bit later. Uh, but let's go ahead and uh, sign out of here and I'll show you how to create a new uh, user. So basically we just go here and uh, let's uh, pretend we don't have a user. We're brand new to the app so let's go and sign up. Cool. So now we're here in the form. Uh, we'll just do like drones at supercool.com and then little piggy one two three no I'm kidding okay and we click sign up cool uh, we have our new uh, user staged up here we can see that uh, drones at supercool.com uh, we have an alert here just telling us everything succeed went accordingly and welcome you have signed up successfully so cool uh, so we can see we're actually looking at the same um, view we were looking before but we get access to cool functionality like for example add post so let's go ahead and click all right that brings us to our form so perfect we gotta choose a file we go here, I had some drone pictures uh, ready for this. So yeah, this is a cool picture, let's pick this one. Okay, cool. So we chose the file, now we go into caption and drones and pools. Cool. So uh, next thing to do is create the post. So let's go ahead, create post. Awesome, yeah, your picture was uploaded successfully. That's great. So here you can see we have the picture, we have the user who uploaded that picture, and we have the caption. Um, cool thing. So when you're adding new things to a database or just like uploading pictures, uh, the order in which they would be posted to your view would be um, the whole way around. So the first picture you uploaded or I mean the yeah the last picture you uploaded would go to the bottom because it's just added sequ sequentially so it goes to the last uh, position in your website but we want it to be first in your view so um, that was a cool thing I figured out which you can do at post equal post at all and then you just throw a dot order and then you just do the parents uh, quotes create at descendant I think descending order yeah so that made the trick that was super cool it took me a while to figure it out um, okay so let's see more functionality when you are acting as a user so we can go ahead and oh no this is not the picture I wanted what do I do? Okay, so just click on the picture and then you get these new links down here. So, okay, there's two options, go back or edit post. So let's try edit post. 
Um, cool, that brings us to the same form we had uh, back then when we wanted to upload a picture. But this is going to allow us to um, edit the picture. So let's go ahead and pick a different picture. This is a good one. Okay, so let's pick that one. And now let's change the caption. Let's do drones and pools, but it's not drones and pools anymore. It's drones and benches. Um, cool. Edit. Functionality. All right. So let's do an update post and let's see what happens. Awesome. So as you can see, it threw us to the new view where we are actually post was successfully updated. We can see our picture uh, was successfully updated. So as the uh, caption and we can go back to our main view and we can see we have our cool new picture updated. So that's really cool. Uh, what else as a user? Okay, so yeah, you could do like, oh no, I don't want to update my picture. I just want to delete it. I don't like it. Um, these purple props are not cool. All right, so you just do the same thing. You click there, you go edit post, and then you get this new cool link here, delete post. So let's go ahead and try it. Let's go delete post, we get this alert. Are you sure you want to delete this post? Yes, I am. Okay, cool. So brings us to our main view because we don't have anything to update to. So cool, we can see there's no drones and benches anymore. Awesome. Okay, so that's basically the user functionality. Uh, let me go ahead and show you some different stuff. So we'll go ahead and sign out of this user. Um, now we have the sign in uh, link, so that means we signed out successfully. Cool. Uh, so, okay, I'm an evil drone person, so I'm going to draw some mustache on this drone. So let's go ahead. I'll try it. So let's do the same thing we did as a user. We click on it, and let's look for our link. Where's the link? No edit link? Oh, no. That's bad. Yeah, no, we can't edit. We can't be bad person. So, yeah. That was uh, functionality two, and we have a uh, before action two here for accept index and show. So that allows to show our actual feed, uh, even though we're not signed in or we're not being authenticated with any user in the moment. Um, cool. So that's basically the Dronestagram app and how it works. Um, Definitely CSS needs a little bit more work, but just because of the time um, restrictions, this was the best I could do. But definitely, it's going to get better in the future and more functionality to this app in the near future too. So thank you for watching and good luck with your projects. Uh, ciao.